Alright. Have a night. Anyways. Products I use. Aqua Safe. I'm running out. Use it. Cost you three dollars. I advise you to get the uh, bigger bottles if you have more fresh water. And salt water. I mean it works on salt water too. I use it. Take it. If you got experience like me, you know how much to put in there. I try them. My try band. Use that every week. I have. Well, I have a little. What do you know? Bottles out. Use it. I will be restocking this uh, whenever I go to the store because we just had a snowstorm and we're kind of snowed in. Aquarium salt. You gotta restock that too. Now, don't use this on like everyday basis or weekly basis. Um, your water will evaporate and that doesn't salt out, but when you do water changes, it does. I think it's like a teaspoon for 10 gallons. So, just put a little in there. That'll probably do it. Uh, Kemi Pure. Now this stuff works like crazy and I recommend it for every kind of tank except plant tanks. Uh, this is my opinion, so don't rant. Say, oh you're wrong, because this is my opinion, not fact. Uh, it takes out nitrates, nitrates, and phosphates. But what do plants need? And it also takes out CO2 in the water. What do plants need? So basically, this is kind of a plant right here, but it takes out heavy metals and stuff like that, and silicates and stuff. Um, get elite if you're running a tank without um, without plants. Now, then again, you might be able to use it because you can use it when you have refugium. So give it a try. If your plants start to die, take it out. So. Yeah, you keep this in the bag, it comes in. So basically, I put everything in there. Now what do we do? We take our uh, power hood. This is the airline tube comes in. If you got an optional one, like if it's called protein skimmer, mine is not called protein skimmer, but it works. I see this airline tube is a little, a little too small, but it works. You just put that in there. Make sure your hands are dry. I've gotten less feet before. This is good. Take your uh, extension cord or power cord, whatever you got. Now, aqua safe and I tried in, and the salt does not take very long to dissolve. So, just give it a little swirl. Make sure your temperature is uh, the right temperature because you can uh, trick the ick and other kind of diseases and other kind of stuff by having long well, temperatures, and if you got a salt water change, you know, you know. Uh, just give it a little swirl. I mean, it doesn't take much to dissolve the stuff. It dissolves really fast. Unplug it. Unplug, I think, the heater I had back on here. Plug the heater back up. back in, but I like the siphon back in, and since the camera is on my computer chair, which I use to use the siphon it, ah, just for today, I'm going to pick it up and dump it in, but I don't recommend that, I recommend slowly, like a 29 gallon, or if it's one fourth inch, use that, do you want to be more safe here, if you got like discus or certain kind of expensive fish, use a smaller siphon, but uh, this stuff's good for hardy fish, I have rams, let me know it's in two inches. So just for today, I'm going to dump it slowly.
Alright, you're probably saying, your team's filthy. It's even more filthy. It's debris flying everywhere. Like I said, leave some poop in there. That's what your bacteria is feeding on. It'll clear up. Uh, if you go for plants or something, just put them back in the soil. And we'll grab whatever you got. That will sell. I promise you. That's how you do it.